No one killed people. No one's trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell. I don't hope they all go straight there. He's Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Yeah, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to go get it out, to get it out of, all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me? I don't think I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> well. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Derm, buddy. Derm, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. He. You're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Oh, I was like, credits? Ooh, another day. Into the hole. The dank hole! Epilogue. Ooh, stars, okay. We're definitely beating this game tonight, then. Sorry for all the audio pops. If you guys... <clears throat> still watching or hearing pops, I apologize. I don't know what's causing that, but... God. Us. It's just... Us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Hey, Granddad's clock! Hey, Granddad! I never got to see what was in that closet. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming? Apes from beyond the veil of space. Oh yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature, Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> that was... Okay. Interesting. 
Yeah, Dad put him up here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Never got to figure out. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? Then I just... I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. Do you live here. And you are still my baby. Aw, uh, mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. Then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week? We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. You make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad comes up the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh. Calling for some snow, too. Went fast. What did? A fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This is one about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Sure. Far from where the ocean's roaring, Far away across the den, I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Carry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. That is nice. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey, Dad. It worked today. I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. No, I'm gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. This place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have real hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. My mom always had work, but... I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. And enough time and money to do them. That's what I made- that's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean... We do need a union. It's just easy to say, and get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here? Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we could make breakfast. Oh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. 
Just one big uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Be back later? What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting in a reserve my longest night, blight spun. Gotta dig them out of the closet. Do they even work still? Can I help put them up? We'll see. We have small fry. Dad. Dee dum dum dum. Dum dee dum dum. Alright. Interesting things are happening. Oh! Okay. Wasn't to my aunt. Hey, what are you doing here? Working, May. Sure. Ah. Uh, what's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh. Kind of calls. Question? You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. May? Put it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now I never considered that. May. Hey, okay, fine, thanks. Bye. Hey, May. Flip Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's a caffeine. You ever take pills that make you pee? It's a caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Right. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. The amount of rock salt isn't a problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Our slips sliding up all down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh well, yeah, good. Let's just give up. I'm not giving up, Colleen. It's like are you undermining me. It's a bad idea that's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side in this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the? Are we going to do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the snivels. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colin. We could just hire some private pillows. If you want to go, if you want to go against the uh, the dot union, go ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. All right. Well, now that that's settled. What are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Interesting. Oh, I would have made that. I think I saw my teacher there. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. <laughs> ah, there he is. Hey, me. Hey, Mr. Jizzle. Uh, Chesikov, got any more dusk stars we can look at? 
one more. Oh, it's her somewhere. Somewhere. It was very easy. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the fire maker. The fire maker? I wander in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like a survival. Hmm. This story makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Jazikoff. See you soon, Stargazer. Alright, so the super moon is a thing. The town is all talking about the longest night, so... Kinda makes me think of Green Lantern. Black is in it. Alright. See what happens here. When water come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin, it's a home, a place for doing. Here, that works. Please go away. I wonder if Rose is here. Nope. Can't feed the rats today. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. You are new mom. Apparently. Life, man, it goes slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Now I gotta go back this way. So I make my way leftward. I guess I could try to see if the rats are there. My oh wait. They got him. Oh well. Never figured out if there was anything to do there. Uh, on the way back. Let's see. Anything to do. Love, peace, and joy. Empty? Yep. I could never go in this sacred room either. Yep. The closet or something? Super Mario jumps. <clears throat> Able to leap a car in a single bound, almost. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. 
Oh, Bruce is here. I think that's his name. Oh, he's not. Hey. Oh, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. Wonder where Bruce got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. Wait, what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning up this place? That'd be nice, man. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, man. Part of me was like, something scary is gonna happen. But it didn't. I'm still waiting for something to like. Seems too easy. The miners did say we're being watched. They know us, but we don't know them. I could have sworn I could have made that. Okay. It didn't scare me. I knew that dog was gonna bark. Check the rats one last time. Babies have left the nest. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Wait. What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here. So someone gets around to throwing it all out. I should like steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Decorate the living room. I'm gonna split part-time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store, now how do they not have the hours? We got a computer program. Oh, hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. Spits out time. It spits out the optimum schedule for everyone, all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. The computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with the computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh some. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, that's fine the night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Ain't it the truth. We can all put in requests. Coffee. Cigarettes. Yep. Where'd the janitor do? Hey, it's you! You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up and do fixits. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Mmm, kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Is it like you've been through something? How do you know? Old experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. 
You know something? You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today and like have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything really. Well, I experienced the big things don't teach you anything. They make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what can come of it. Hmm. Well, during an honest day's work. Quitting time. Melcher's game tonight. See you around. If I see you first, May. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, that guy. Wait. How do you know my name? Oh. <laughs> I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy a janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Bob Janitor. Hmm. And the plot thickens. Well, all sure is ending. Sure, looks that way. I've uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out. And let a gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah! It's cold, maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Then you can go get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting here, out here, until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. One's here. Be nice. Holy crap! Uh, uh, a taco place? This is the best thing that's happened to this town since we got rid of all those snakes in dinner. We got internet! We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to tour in a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Yeah. Ooh. You're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky falling. Or the tacos here. Good. I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of the general region, pretty sure. And miss in the pizza place? Place? Why not try a pizza taco? Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm watching your health. Spread all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Oh, that guy is gone. I don't remember there being anything up there. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. 
This seems like relevant. But look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. God, store just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. But you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one. We made copies. How do you get? How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. And they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't be it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible. And he has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg like saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't. If you think so, Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leathery jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Geez, you've thought this out. Or you came back. They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. But like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Uh, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. You think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. But like, I'm a little confused about what happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can like smell how old. Like, porch light that's on, and there are all those bugs around it. And then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me, my. <clears throat> it's what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. World is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Uh, failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you like get up every day? And go open the store? And keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. I guess not. You don't give yourself enough credit. Keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight. Following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza, do each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fix that furnace. 
I fixed that furnace. Well, it fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old man killing the young and the poor. Get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion. Killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. It makes me happy for some reason. Wow, well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can I drive real far? May, do you know anything about what? We should, like, do a road trip. Where? Out west. It's all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell... Barbecue. And you can see, like, the world's largest, uh... Pierogi. I think barbecue is south. Not all of it. It's everywhere. BBQ. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. <laughs> you have a way of making sound doom like a lot of fun. Making no... Making... Ugh. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door. I think Gold already has. There they are. Hey guys. What's up, nerds? Psh. It's you who are the nerds. How'd you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life too. But that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Did we like... Tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we like make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. But like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general? Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night, I saw the future. Maybe it's now the future. Or was the future... Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bit. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. Now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to, when to hold on, and when to let go. 
Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Oh, that was it. Hell yeah. All right. Pretty awesome. The game is pretty good. I like really, really enjoyed it. I'm kicking myself into it, and I waited so long to play it. <laughs> it's also very hard to voice multiple characters. Now I know how half the cast of Futurama and Mal Blanc from Looney Tunes felt. It was good. It had pretty decent little mini games. I liked exploring and talking to people, finding out about their lives. Ugh, that pop. <clears throat> they really put a lot of work into the relationship between the friends, which is pretty cool. The journal scribbles were nice. There's a lot of lore for the town. And apparently you can do another run where... You need to get really close to, to, uh, to B or get really close to Greg. But, uh... <laughs> Lin, the gremlins. Always thank the gremlins. Um, yeah, it was really good. I didn't see, like, the whole... I mean, after the person got murdered, that... It's our sacrifice, I don't know. <clears throat> it's interesting. There's a lot of story threads. Ooh, Tim Schafer. He go the cat. Yep, there we go. That's Night in the Woods. <laughs> That's... <laughs> God. It was him. It was him all along. Rest in peace, Casey. Dang. That's pretty cool. A journal? So that's why she journals, because her doctor... Her therapist told her to do it. Can I flip through this stuff? Ooh, I can. I know I've definitely missed some... a majority of the entries. Take a look really quick. Yep, rest in peace, Grandad. I never found out what was in that closet. <laughs> Your parents forgot you. <laughs> Octopus in a cowboy hat. Mom. 24-7 mom. Cool dadders. Dadders looks older. Still funny though. Meats. <laughs> How the hell do you draw a space dragon? Oh yeah, the first song on bass. Space dragon. Thought. This place is falling apart. Big skeleton. Thought. Ant Mall Cop is planning to kill me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. A C A B? Hmm. Greg rules, okay? Beatrice Santello. Maybe. <laughs> Guy anywhere else. Weird autumn. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Uneatable. Avoid. Bad. Cheap. Frozen. Normal delivery. Fancy. Too fancy. Good as hell. <laughs> Arm. Observations severed. Army jacket on sidewalk. Apparently there's a, a tattoo, but I didn't... I didn't know there was a, a tattoo until someone pointed it out that I could have... 
uh, push the sleeve down or up depending on point of view and show him the tattoo but cool Angus he's big softy germ thought become a fire ghost yell at people thought come back to life granddad G dad no oh. F the cops thought never drink again or go in public blah blah dumb shit <laughs> Everything feels bad. Ta-da, it's Selmers, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Door, cat sees, cat's eyes. Hello, B. Did you get my texts? Miracle rats. Mollard forever. Oh, the, the duck float thing. My miracle babies thought nuke possum springs honey i'm harm bandit queens featuring lucent lucent lucine mall all hail <laughs> pastor k and then the statue bruce hmm. part of me thinks that guy at the end was bruce i don't know Mash. Greg rules, okay. Working. Grr. Angry Furnace. Who makes a mummy? Ham Panther Dinner. Dad. Fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I'm garbage. Football. Three weird teens I met. Janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Bob Janitor. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Halloween, Harvest, The Black Coats, Big Snake, Pumpkinhead Guy, Dune Bug, Grave Guy, Career Idea, Grave Digger, Jen, Greg's Cousin, Skull Hole, Little Joe's Dang Skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Cole, Adina, Rinsky, Lori M, Horror Movies, Trains. Bombshell. Mayday. BB. Stuck together? Don't suck together. Thought. Angus is psychic. But his hat blocks it. <laughs> no clues, but Angus saw him too. Just pixels. Down the void. Rest in peace. Cool. Whoa. There we go. Benji. Yeah, that was, uh... Who start new game? Okay, well... I uh, don't have time to do that tonight. I'm probably gonna do another run through on my own. Just to see how things play out with Greg. I might also see what are some of the things I missed, because I know I missed a lot of things. But, uh, this game was really good. All the characters were pretty well developed. Except for Greg. I got a tad of Angus. Like, a very little bit. It was parents... Just, that's another thing, everyone had, like, real-world issues. May had, like, her psychotic breakdown with reality, just coming to terms with things, with life. Beatrice is like, she has to provide for her family, which is just her her dad, her bum dad. Or she's the adult and her dad is like, the kid. And then Angus was shunned and beat as a child, and ended up becoming loving, which is... That uh, is a real good reflection. I know people that have lived traumatic childhoods and they're like the most caring people in the world. <laughs> and then I uh, didn't get too much of Greg. I think I got the least out of Greg. He's the, the closest thing I can compare him to is Randall from Clerks. He's just coming in like a berserker every day. <laughs> he closes the quick stop whenever he feels like it to play some... some uh, Go to band practice. 
Just does what he wants, says what he wants. Pretty much just lives the life he wants. Except he has a relationship. <clears throat> what is life made Angus? And um it was really good. Learned the whole thing with the parents too. That hits home. Been there myself. Again, this is like they're in their early twenties, so like right right after high school, like before you start college or just go straight into working. It's an interesting time in everyone's life. Don't know what you want to do, or you want you know what you want to do, but you don't do it yet, or you don't know how, or you don't know why you haven't. Oh man, there's a lot of good. This game makes me think about a lot of things. It's a really good slice of life. <clears throat> I think it's one of these. I don't know. That's. I could see myself playing this again. Years, months down the road, and probably get a whole new set of emotions or feelings experience out of it so it's very good though I very much enjoyed it um, yeah uh, just everyone was like super relatable or had things that I could like you know imagine the circumstances with me being in so uh, very very high high remarks from me this, this game was amazing. <laughs> I knew it was pretty cool once I did like the mini games and kind of like right off the bat with the dialogue. The dialogue I really enjoyed. But it's cute. It got a little scary at times. It has a lot of charm in heart. They did a lot of things. There was like a Halloween spe spectacular. You got to see a change in the seasons. There was a lot you could do. A lot of people to talk to. A good variety of cast. Uh, some again, I know I missed a lot, so it was probably more things to unlock, but very good. And I don't know if there'll ever be another one. I don't know what the studio does next, or if they even have a game that they're doing next. But I'm definitely they're on my radar now. So <laughs> that's. Hopefully they, they make another one or they do something similar but not quite the same. And I'll, I'll definitely be there day one this time. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts about uh, Night in the Woods. Fantastic game. Highly recommend. I'm glad um, a lot of uh, viewers in my stream also uh, enjoyed me playing through it with my very amateurish voice acting. <laughs> but uh... <clears throat> We finished it, so I'm going to be announcing the next game I'm going to stream. So, one thing I do have uh, in the works is a speed run with a viewer of mine, Lozo. Um, although I think it might just be me, uh, schedules and stuff. Everyone's, everyone's living, doing them, you know, living their lives. So, I'm gonna attempt to do a speed run. It's really assisted. Um, Lozo has written an amazing guide, and I'm trying to watch some videos to try to get some knowledge because I'm going for an amateur. So I'm going from amateur voiceover work to an amateur speed run, <laughs> and uh, I, it, I think it's it's, it's a speed run that can be done in eight hours. That'd be like about two streams for me, but I'm thinking it's going to be something like four an entire week. But uh, I'm going to be playing Digimon World Three on the. Uh, PlayStation and I'm going to try to uh, be I'm not going for any records and I don't I know I'm not gonna get eight hours or seven hours or anything like that but I'm going to try to do my best to go through that game and somehow present the notion that I know what I'm doing even though I've looked at a guide that was provided to me and I'm kind of looking over videos and stuff so I'm trying to make that entertaining and I'll you know for everyone. So yeah, that's what's coming next. Um, may start this week, may start next week. I'm not too sure. Wednesday's gonna be a little up in the air. Um, Friday, this Friday, uh, Pacific Center Time at 9 o'clock though, I will be having a Smash Ultimate with viewers stream. So if anyone here has Smash Brothers and you would like to come for some friendly matches, then you are more than welcome to uh, stop by the stream Friday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be doing uh, Smash Brothers uh, with all my viewers. 
I believe this is the third month I've done it, so I kind of more or less usually get a good a good crowd of people uh, in a room and we we play you know up until the end of the morning. So it'll be a Friday night going into Saturday, so that should be good. Um, of course, uh, you know, let your let any friends of course know if you have any friends that play Smash Brothers, so they're more than welcome to bring them to the stream. I'd appreciate you know. Uh, the more the merrier, I always say, but uh, I do have to shamelessly self-promote, as everyone, all my viewers, my regulars, are constantly reminding me to. Uh, one second. As I find it, or... Uh, There we go. <clears throat> I have a Discord server, community Discord server, and we usually get a few members, you know, every other week or so. And we're we're going up steadily, but um, if you like the stream and you like hanging out with fellow like-minded uh, <clears throat> uh gamers such as myself, then uh, we got memes. We talk about movies, television. Uh, comics, anime, uh, I keep all of my viewers, um, up to date on my, on my streams and everything I'm working on and doing, uh, in the Discord, so if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, then, uh, there's a link in the chat right now, and feel free to join. And if, if not, then that's cool too. I really appreciate everyone that comes out to the streams and just hangs out and enjoys me playing some good games with some of my horrible voice acting and horrible gameplay, but sometimes I make it interesting and sometimes I surprise even myself, so woohoo for that, but um anyways, I uh, want to give a quick shout out to Rune, Rune Imagero? I know I'm saying that wrong, I'm so tired I I know Rune for sure. I'm just going to call you Rune. <laughs> so that I don't butcher your name any further. But uh, thank you for joining the club and following. I really appreciate it. And of course, shout outs to everyone keeping the chat lively. There was uh, Snoopy, Sancheesy, Cannibal Queen, Fishy. Uh, Rune was there for a bit as well, cheering me on. Um... And of course, shout outs to my moderators, Snoopy, uh, Sancheesy. Keeping, keeping the chat safe. You know, uh, hanging out with me. Always a good time. And uh, of course, a shout out to everyone still here uh, watching till the end. You know, I always like to say your, your viewership and support never go unnoticed or unappreciated. So thank you everyone that's stuck out with me, or stuck around with me to the end. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, next game is going to be, um, Digimon World 3. That, m I originally wanted it to start this week, but Night in the Woods took a little too long, so it might not be Wednesday, which is my next stream. Um, I might have a one-off prepared. <clears throat> but, uh, I will be streaming Wednesday, I just don't know what yet, but... Uh, that's when my next stream is going to be, and other than that, uh, thank you everyone for coming to the stream and hanging out. Really appreciate it. And as, uh, my moderator, my number one mod with the dad bod, Dem Kara, always says, it's time for the Truman Show outro, so... I just want to, uh... <clears throat> tell everyone, no matter where you're watching from, I want to wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And this is Ego. A modern visual culturalist signing off. And I'll catch you Wednesday for mm, surprise stream. We'll see what it is. But uh, Digimon 3 is on the way. Smash Brothers this Friday. And maybe some Cuphead on uh, this Saturday. So it'll be a bit of a variety week for sure before I uh, hit it hard for Digimon World 3. But, um,. Other than that, uh, thank you everyone. I really enjoyed Night in the Woods. I hope everyone enjoyed watching me. 
and I will catch you all next time. <clears throat> okay. Uh, until then, bye everyone.